TikTok has a billion users worldwide and more than 100 offices globally, but its Canadian operations are shutting down. It is an important decision to protect Canada's uh, not only national security, uh, but at the same time, we've uh, been preoccupied by the activities of uh, the corporate entity of TikTok Canada. Ottawa has ordered the company to close its offices in Toronto and Vancouver. These social media platforms can be used to amplify disinformation, misinformation, propaganda, um, and to tilt public views in ways that are not in Canada's national interest. Canada's former spy chief warned TikTok's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, could use the app to glean information about Canadians. I think Canadians need to listen. The federal government says the closures are based on evidence collected by Canada's intelligence agencies, but they haven't revealed exactly what they found. And I would like to know more about what those specific concerns are. Um, that way I can tell whether or not what they're doing would actually make Canadians any safer. Despite the order, Ottawa is not banning Canadians from using TikTok. Focusing on the corporate entity and basically kicking it out of the country doesn't really solve any of those issues. And if anything, it just seems to make it harder to enforce Canadian privacy laws, security laws. The company has vowed to challenge the move in court, saying shutting down TikTok's offices and destroying hundreds of well-paying local jobs is not in anyone's best interest. While TikTok's physical presence may be disappearing in Canada, its digital footprint is only expanding. According to Similar Web, a site monitoring online traffic, the social media platform is downloaded roughly 700,000 times a month in this country. Taria Isri, Global News, Montreal.